We're gonna do a quick walk around on the Nissan pickup. You probably know me for doing off-road stuff, but before there was off-road, I was mini trucking. This is my midlife crisis truck. No, this thing is so cool. This is a 95 Nissan hard body pickup. When I was in high school, I always wanted an airbag mini truck and I didn't have one. I had a salvage title Nissan Sentra that I lowered as much as I could, but I wasn't like, I didn't have the money for a mini truck. And like at that time, these things were brand new. So fast forward 28 years or however long it's been. And I finally got this really cool Nissan hard body it's a 95, it's an extra cab, it's fuel injected, it's got all the things that I always wanted back in the day. And I got it and immediately tore into it. You can see here, it's got the front wheel wells are kind of raised up and almost finished. The other side's not quite done yet. Um, the truck is body dropped, which that is like this huge project in itself and you can see that right here where the whole body is cut away from the floor pan and the body is lowered down and then everything welded back up so that's sort of like if you're in the mini trucking realm and you're into this style this like mid to early 90s i guess early 90s to mid 2000s style where it was all about being as low as you could be that's what you had to do. You got to cut the floor out of the truck, lower the body down. You can call it body drop and you can call it channel and you can call it whatever you want. I think it's cool. Um, the front end is on airbags. It uses the stock suspension. Um, stock arms upper and lower, but I modified and made airbag mounts. Ditched the stock torsion bars. Um, We'll get into that probably later on in some of the builds. This is just going to be a quick overview of what the truck is and what my vision is for it. And this is it right here. Watch this. On the ground. On the ground. That's what it's all about. We'll hang a fender on there real quick. You can see it. Tuck in some wheel. These are four-wheel drive fenders, and these are kind of neat. This was a this was a modification you had to do if you're going to drive low, because they have more flare on them. They bubble out farther, so that you can tuck wheel like that and still be able to turn. So, this is going to be a fun one. I look forward to finishing this thing up. We are going to have a bunch of fab work to finish. You can see it's not done, and I need to drive it soon. So we're going to be doing rear suspension modifications. We're gonna be doing a body drop on the bed and I'll have to finish up a whole bunch of the sheet metal work inside. So keep following along at the dirt head shed and this truck is gonna be awesome. Hopefully we're dragging down the street in no time. And as I promised you earlier, here's some shots of my drywall work.